Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can track mileage for vehicles in QuickBooks so you have a record of vehicle mileage for tax purposes. You can also assign mileage to a specific customer job so you can bill the customer for the mileage if needed. Generally, you can use either the standard mileage rate or the actual expenses for calculating vehicle mileage expenses. You should consult with your tax advisor or the IRS to determine which method you should use, if any. All versions of QuickBooks Desktop Pro include basic mileage tracking. Additionally, QuickBooks Desktop Pro Plus 2023 introduces a new advanced mileage tracking feature that uses online connectivity with your Intuit account to track mileage information online. Advanced mileage tracking also integrates with the QuickBooks Desktop Mobile app so employees can enter mileage in the app for your approval. However, the app is only available in the Apple App Store as of the time of this writing. Additionally, you must use extreme caution when manually entering trips if using advanced mileage tracking, as there is no way to edit or delete trips you manually enter directly into QuickBooks Desktop Pro Plus 2023 as of the time of this writing. Fortunately, you can also continue to use the basic mileage tracking in QuickBooks 2023 if desired. However, note that while you can copy existing mileage entries from the basic mileage tracking to the advanced mileage tracking, you cannot copy mileage entered in the advanced mileage tracking back to the basic mileage tracking. If you switch back to basic mileage tracking, you cannot access any trips entered when using the advanced mileage tracking. To switch mileage tracking in QuickBooks 2023 between the Advanced Mileage Tracking and Basic Mileage Tracking, select Edit, then Preferences from the menu bar to open the Preferences dialog box. Then select the Time and Expenses category icon at the left side of the dialog box. Then click the Company Preferences tab to the right. Then select either the Basic version or Advanced Version option button in the Track Mileage section at the bottom of the tab. Then click the OK button to apply the change. To enter vehicle mileage if using basic mileage tracking in QuickBooks, select Company, Track Vehicle Mileage from the menu bar to launch the Enter Vehicle Mileage window. If needed to specify mileage rates, Click the Mileage Rates button at the top of the Enter Vehicle Mileage window to open the Mileage Rates dialog box. To add a new or updated mileage rate, enter the starting date of the mileage rate under the Effective Date column in the next available row. Then set the mileage rate in the Rate column next to the date. Check with the IRS for any effective rate changes and make sure that you keep this information current. After entering the mileage rates, click the Close button. Use the vehicle dropdown at the top of the window to select for which vehicle you will be entering mileage for a trip. To quickly add a new vehicle, type a new vehicle description into this dropdown field and then use the Quick Add feature to quickly add the vehicle to the vehicle list. Alternatively, to enter detailed descriptions about the vehicles used by your company, click the Vehicle List button in the toolbar at the top of the Enter Vehicle Mileage window to open the Vehicle List window. You can then add the vehicles and descriptions in this list and close the window when finished. To enter the start and end dates of the trip you are recording, use the Trip Start Date and Trip End Date Calendar drop-down fields in the Enter Vehicle Mileage window. Enter the odometer start and end values into the odometer start and odometer end fields to fill in the total miles by subtracting the two values. Alternatively, simply type the total miles of the trip into the total miles field if desired. To mark the miles as billable, check the billable checkbox in the upper right corner of the window. To assign the miles to a specific customer or job, use the Customer Job drop-down to select the customer or job to which to assign the mileage. If billing for the mileage, then use the Item drop-down to select your mileage item from your item list. If you bill customers for mileage, you must have an existing mileage item or create a mileage item as a service type item in the item list so you can use it to collect the mileage amounts in an invoice later. 
After entering the mileage, feel free to add any additional notes into the Notes field. Finally, click the Save and Close button to save the trip. Alternatively, to enter vehicle mileage if using Advanced Mileage Tracking in QuickBooks Desktop Pro Plus 2023 or later, select Company, Track Vehicle Mileage from the menu bar to sign into your Intuit account if needed, and then open the Track Vehicle Mileage window. Trips entered by employees using the QuickBooks Desktop Mobile app appear for review on the Pending Approval tab in this window. After reviewing and approving these trips, they move to the Approved tab. However, trips you manually add within QuickBooks Desktop Pro Plus 2023 automatically appear on the Approved tab. Currently, once a trip is approved, there is no way to delete or edit it. Advanced Vehicle Mileage Tracking provides current mileage rates from the IRS automatically. However, to add a custom mileage rate, Click the Manage drop-down button in the upper right corner of the window, and then select the Mileage Rates command to open the Manage Mileage Rates screen. Then click the Add Rate button to open an Add Mileage Rate window. Enter the starting date for the mileage rate into the Effective Date field, and the rate into the Rate in Dollars field, and then click the Save button to return to the Manage Mileage Rates screen. To close the Manage Mileage Rates screen, click the X button in its upper right corner. To add your company's vehicles, click the Manage drop-down button in the upper right corner of the window, and then select the Vehicle command to open the Vehicle list in QuickBooks Desktop Pro. You can then add the vehicles and descriptions in this list and close the window when finished. However, note that it may take a few minutes for changes to this list to synchronize and appear online if you intend to manually enter a trip. To approve trips entered via the QuickBooks Desktop Mobile app, click the Pending Approval tab. To review a trip for approval, click the Approve link under its Action column to open the Approve Trip window. Enter any details missing from the trip as needed and correct any data entry mistakes. You will learn about each field when we review manually adding trips momentarily. To approve the trip after reviewing and correcting it, click the Approve button. Alternatively, to cancel the approval, click the Cancel button. Alternatively, to delete a trip on the Pending Approval tab, Click the drop-down under the Action column for the trip to delete, and then select the Delete command. To confirm the deletion, click the Yes Delete button in the Confirmation Prompt window that appears. Alternatively, to cancel the deletion, click the Not Now button. Alternatively, to manually enter a trip which is automatically approved as soon as it is saved, click the Add Trip button in the upper right corner of the Track Vehicle Mileage window, to open an Add Trip window, which contains the same fields as the Approve Trip window shown earlier. To select the trip's start date, use the Start Date Calendar drop-down. To select the trip's end date, use the End Date Calendar drop-down. Enter a short purpose of the trip into the Purpose of Trip field. To associate the trip with an employee email, select their address from the Employee Email drop-down. If the trip is billable, check the Billable checkbox. Doing this then enables several other fields. Then select the name of the customer or job from the Customer Job drop-down that appears. If classes are enabled, you can select a class from the Class drop-down. Select the Billable Mileage item from the Item drop-down. If you bill customers for mileage, you must have an existing mileage item or create a mileage item as a service type item in the item list so you can use it to collect the mileage amounts in an invoice later. To mark the mileage as reimbursable to the employee, check the Reimbursable checkbox. To enter a starting location, begin typing it into the Starting Location field and then select it from the drop-down when it appears.
To enter an ending location, repeat the same process for the ending location field. The distance field is then calculated automatically. Alternatively, if needed, simply enter the total miles into the distance in miles field. To enter an odometer start value, type it into the odometer start reading field. To enter an ending odometer value, type it into the odometer end reading field. To enter more detailed notes about the trip, type them into the notes field. To select which vehicle was used for the trip, select it from the vehicle dropdown. Finally, review all information to ensure it is completely correct, as you cannot edit or delete it later. To then save the trip, click the Save button. Then click OK in the Save Confirmation window. Alternatively, to cancel the trip, click the Cancel button. To view the Approved Trips, click the Approved tab in the Track Vehicle Mileage window. To view the information for an approved trip, click the View link under its action column to show its details in the Trip Details window. To close this window, click the Close button. Note that you cannot change or delete approved trips. To close the Track Vehicle Mileage window when finished, click the X button in its upper right corner. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.